Hi, Eugene. I'm Shar Jassel with That Grape Juice. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Shar? What's I'm up? great. So my first question is, I know that you wrote, you produced, and directed this film. How did your own personal lived experience, because I know that you've done music, but how did your own lived experience better help inform this movie for you? Um, I mean, really, it just started with the, the world that I created. You know, I come from uh, a family in, in, in Harlem that, you know, my mother grew up in Harlem and the in, in, she was born in 1935 and grew up all through the 50s and 60s in Harlem. And, and I have a ton of family photo albums that show pictures of people who look like Robert and Sylvie and places that look like Mr. J's record store. And, you know, was she there a reason, Was there a reason you chose this specific time period? Yeah, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about how times change, but and, and how people change with those times and the effects that those times have on people. In the women's movement, you know, she, Sylvie kind of comes out of being this 50s, like um, potential Stepford wife and goes into having her own agency as the women's movement starts to open up in the 60s. You see her reading Betty Friedan's mm -hmm. The Feminine Mystique. And then Robert is confronted with the death of jazz into the Motown era and pop really becoming the popular music with black folks. Yeah, this was a roller coaster film. I know I have my favorite scenes. I have to ask, do you, without any spoilers, does any one specific scene stand out to you as like a favorite that you directed or just liked in the film? Yeah, I really love the Plaza Hotel, uh, you know, where they, where they reconnect and she shows up at the door. Yes. Um, it's just, that for me just nails, it looks like it's shot in that era. It looks, the music sounds like it's from that era. Like everything is just, that was the chrysalis of like all of the ideas. Like that's what the production design, I mean, Main Burke and production designer actually had menus from the Plaza Hotel. The, the oh. yeah, I mean, it, it was really pretty phenomenal. And my final question for you, Eugene, is what is one takeaway you know, romance in the pandemic, a lot of people are getting it, a lot of people aren't getting it. What's one takeaway you want viewers to walk away from when they're, uh, will walk away with, I should say, when they're uh, done watching the film? What, is well, there think, an underlying message or anything? Yeah, I think it's to, and we, I think we learned it over this pandemic is just kind of to really think about what's important in your life. You know, I mean, Robert, and Sylvie say it in the movie that, you know, if, if, if you don't absolutely love something, it's not, you know, nothing really matters. Like you, you should only really choose the things that you're super excited about and that really mean something to you. I think we've learned the value of substance over this pandemic and everything that's been happening politically. So, you know, live a purposeful life. Amen to that. Thank you so and much. And love that. purposefully, right? love purposefully and intentionally. I'm going to add that, love in, with intent. Thank you so much for joining me, Eugene. Have a fantastic day. You too. Happy holidays. Thank you. Same to you.